What's the fastest you've ever gone from caring about someone to straight up loathing them? Had a really great friend in high school. He was cool but he's always be trying to sell stuff to people in the hallways. Like video games or pocket knives or sunglasses. After over a year of being friends with him he came over to my house to hang out and when he left a bunch of my favorite video games were missing. I realized what was happening. And I had plans on forgiving him if he just fessed up and apologized. Instead he got super defensive and angry. And I instantly lost any respect I had for the guy. She accused my dad of s sorely assaulting her at a sleepover. Went to court and after first day of trial she admitted she made it up because she was jealous of my relationship with my parents. Meanwhile. My dad's legal bill was 17k. And her family immediately filed for bankruptcy a week after. So we couldn't pursue them civilly. They were legit poor. So wouldn't have made a difference. Comes out later she had done the same thing before. She's been married. Divorced. And the kicker is her current common law husband is her ex-husband's friend's father. Heinous. I didn't have a good relationship with my family. And my in-laws were incredible. They would help out whenever and however they could. Then my daughter, elementary school age at a time, told me that my father-in-law had molested her. My brand new stepmother scream cried at me in public because she had left her purse at their wedding venue. I. An 11 year old was supposed to have known somehow to keep an eye on it for her. I didn't hate her right away. But there was definitely a switch flip moment on how I felt about her. Gave my roommate an envelope with a money order for bills in it. To drop in the mail. He got arrested. While looking for some of his documents to take to him I found the opened. Empty envelope in his closet. Peace out. My best friend who I considered a brother was working for me. I called him to talk about the next job, construction, and he informed me that he had started his own company and taken my other full time employee with him, who was working with me that day. Yeah needless to say that one stung for a bit. We're cordial now but it will never be the same after that. It's been 3 years. My mother was an alcoholic growing up. I used to take her side in all the fights she had with my dad. When I was at an older age I realized she was using my dad. She had no job and my dad who was 64 was working his ass off to pay for my sister. Me and my parents. Then my dad said we didn't have enough money for something and basically my mum said so. We're poor? My parents later split up and she found another boyfriend almost instantly. She still didn't have a job. So I figured out that she used my dad. Then was using her boyfriend. Yeah. It was messed the up. Edit. Thank you everyone for all the love and support. I hope you get through your sad times too. When my best friend of 10 years slept with my boyfriend of 2 years. I was so crushed but to be honest was more angry with the friend. I truly did believe that I was deeply in love with the boyfriend but he was kind of a shitty head to begin with. I saw my friend as a sister and her betrayal left longer lasting impact and hurt way more. I hated her in a violent way for a very long time. Fast forward 11 years and now I am to a point where I have forgiven her and wish her well but would never let her back into my life again. A co-worker was talking to me about the issues he was having with his 12 year old stepdaughter. Another co-worker sitting by us asked. Have you tried arping her? Full stop. Thought he was an okay guy. But not after that line. The day he was fired was a good day. Follow up. He had only worked there about 2 months. Didn't talk much. So that was a pretty messed up first comment to a private conversation. I think, or hope, he was trying to be funny. He was fired about 9 days later. No reason was given to the rest of the crew. Boss just said Greg has been let go. Friend at a bar tells some people we just met how her mother died. Later in the night I express my sympathy, now she's without parents. She told me hush hush a few years prior about how father had passed. Wait did I tell you back then my dad died? I thought I told you it was my mum. No. Both my parents are still alive. 
when we were in uni I just read in a book telling people a parent has died isn't good way to get sympathy. Ha ha. When my partner died I looked at his parents and felt so. So sad for them having to feel. The way I felt. Then the next day they basically told me to get lost and took everything of his from our home. Oh and changed the funeral date so I couldn't go. Yeah. There's grief and there's downright evil. I had a friend a while back. Neat guy. Liked video games. Anime. One of the few people willing to go in on a pen and paper RPG. Didn't interact with him outside of these sorts of events. Semicolon. One time. A bunch of us went to grab dinner before seeing a limited run anime movie. This guy special orders absolutely everything. Don't pick something on the menu. Standard grill fare. Don't just ask for special order. Demands it. Calls the waitress names and is just a total dick. When I confronted him about it he started shouting and making a huge scene in the restaurant. The rest of the night was massively awkward. After that. I just ghosted him. Semicolon. People who treat others poorly like that have no place in my life. You can tell the character of a person based on how they treat someone they don't have to be kind or nice to. When my grandfather screamed at my mother that she had ruined his life by being born. Never spoke to him again after that. My mother fought cancer for 5 years. My father let my sister and I do 95% of the work caregiving and after her death expected us to step into her place and take care of him. The man I used to love and respect is gone and I can't stand to be around him anymore. Found out this girl I was getting close to had been lying about her ex being a deadbeat dad and well. Her ex. He wasn't just still in the picture. They lived together. I should have guessed after the third or fourth time she made an excuse to not go to her place. Never ended something so quick. One year friendship with this girl. I invited her over to my new apartment. She came over and wanted to gossip about her co-workers. When she paused. I tried to add into the conversation. Make a joke. Give reassurance. Add a comment. ETC. But she would immediately raise her voice and start talking over me. I kept getting angrier every time it happened until I was actually loathing her internally. She was so self-absorbed that she didn't notice I went from smiling and engaged to frowning while staring off into space. After 2 plus hours of not being allowed to talk. I made up an excuse to kick her out of the apartment and then vowed to never see her again. My childhood friend he lived pretty close to me and seemed like a nice dude until he stole my golden eye and moved to Minnesota. FCKU Derek. One summer back in high school years. I had a crush on this girl and we'd hang out when we weren't working together. A friend of mine would keep insisting that I should just ask her out. So I mustered my courage and asked her out. Yeah, it was a glorious fail. I still remember when she smiled and told me the truth. That was when I found out that they had been secretly dating for a year and thought it would be a lark to just fck with me. 100 to 0 in a few words and a vicious smile. When I found out a family member abused their kids. Instant hate and disgust. When he straight up denied my existence in front of his friends. The first girl I ever dated died unexpectedly on my then current gf and my 3 year anniversary. My then gf stated she was pissed because my ex had died on purpose that day because it was our anniversary. I was utterly disgusted and it completely changed how I viewed her altogether. When he convinced his wife to kick her young kids out because they, the husband and wife, were finally having a child together. He was very open about hating his stepkids. Edit. Grammar. As fast as it took for his wife to call me at work to tell me that he was not only married. But had three children including a newborn. My ex-girlfriend. We were childhood sweethearts. Dated from 17 to 25. Found out she was cheating on me with her boss. Who was more than twice our age. Then proceeded to find out there was many more occurrences and she was a very different person than the person I'd been dating. Shattered. Was at my wife's family Christmas gift exchange. 
My wife is estranged from her direct family. So this was all of the uncles. Aunties and cousins. There were multiple nieces and nephews running around having a good time. We all agreed to a white elephant exchange for the adults so we didn't have to buy a lot of gifts. We did that the night before and did the gifts for the kids in their morning. Morning rolls around and all the kids are opening gifts. Except my son. None of those entitled ass hats got him anything. He sat there and watched everyone else open multiple gifts and it broke my heart to see him sitting there with nothing. FCK those people write up their stupid assholes. A former friend bailed on me when we were supposed to hang out and so I called my then girlfriend to see what she was doing and I could hear him talking to her parents in the background. Having your friend bang your girlfriend and her parents? That's rough. When he started being condescending to me in almost every conversation we have. In about almost every topic we talked about. Then him complaining to me that some people can't handle him having such strong opinions on topics he is passionate about. When I told my mom we were adopting a baby. She asked. Don't you want to have a real baby? I'm adopted. Had a male bestie for more than 10 years. One night I was upset and crying cause I witnessed my friends die at the beach a few weeks earlier. He stays over to comfort me and suggests he sleep over so I wouldn't be alone. He promised he wouldn't do anything. I believed him. So he held me while I cried myself to sleep. I wake up to him fingering me. Without my consent obviously. I lost my mind. And told him off and kicked him out my house. He came knack a few days later to apologize but I was so disgusted with him I told him to fck off and never talk to me again. I blocked him. I felt so disgusted and betrayed. That is s all assault and seriously f ked up. I'm so sorry you have to deal with such a terrible human. I loved, still love, playing POC registered sign mon and I had no female friends with the same interest. Found out about this group of guys that played it after school. Got really excited and made plans with them. I waited for hours and they never showed up. Next day I overhear my best childhood friend laughing about how annoying I was and that they had to hide from me to play in peace. My best friend back in school got a F from the teacher. Me and him asked if we can go to the toilet. I go to the toilet to text a bit with friends from other school. He goes to the parking lot and scratches the teacher's car. School break and the teacher finds his car. We both get called to the director etc etc. Friend said that we both scratched the car. I grave showed the teacher my phone to show him I was texting and couldn't have scratches his car. Told friend to fck off and went out. Talking to my then gf about her cheating on me. Explaining I couldn't ever possibly trust her again. And she replied but do you really need to trust me? Clearly had different ideas on what's required for a healthy relationship. Edit. For context. Relationship was 6 years long. We had been talking about marriage. We owned a dog together. This was the second instance of cheating. This conversation was what pushed me over the edge into the territory of self respect. Broke up with her the next day. Much happier since. Comma but do you really need to trust me? Mio. My father abandoned me and my ill mother. He just. Ran away. I am a single child so I had to take care of her on my own. It was hard. I loathed him. Hated him. I no longer hate him. Just forget about him. Hating someone for too long takes a heavy toll. I am grateful to have had the chance to take care of my mother and help her get well. I was good friends with a guy. Literally hung out every single day. He stayed over at my house all the time on the couch because he lived in military housing. Another friend offered him to move into his place because he had an extra bedroom. Hanging out ceased immediately. Invites got denied. Never heard from him. And if I saw him. It was coincidental. Almost a year passed. And I realized that anytime I saw him on social media with his new friends. I'd get mad. And it was disturbing my positive moods. I wasn't jealous. I just felt used. I did so much for the guy. Ended up removing him from social media. 
when my friend lied and went behind my back to date the guy I was interested in. And then started sleeping around behind his back. I wasn't interested in dating him. I just had a crush. And if she told me. I'd be fine with it. But lying to the both of us. Straight to our faces. And asking the both of us to not tell the other one was fked up. She told me about all her tinder hookups and asked me to keep it a secret because she didn't want anyone else to know. I mean. I had my suspicions of what was going on. But once it was confirmed that she'd even lied to me about what had happened. It was straight over for me. You don't lie to me and expect me to stick around. Edit. Yes. I told him about her sleeping around. Once he told me the truth about their relationship. I didn't tell him before because I didn't know for sure they were dating behind my back. Colon. Years ago I had a roommate. We're pretty good friends before rooming. I walk into the living room and he's on the phone. Says I miss you man. I love you too and gets off. Immediately turns to me and says man that guy is such a loser it was his best childhood friend who was going through a rough time and apparently was kind of mentally impaired. He called caused people bully him at his warehouse job and just wanted someone to talk to. At an event I walked up on two of my friends talking complete shit about me. Cut them both out of my life at that moment. And have not looked back. I made a small birthday party when I was 13. My mom helped me. Made a cake and all the cool stuff. I've invited three of my friends. Just to find out that one of them convinced the others not to come to me. I have never celebrated my birthday again after that. I'm 24 now and I'm almost crying when I think of it. Decided to get into online Dungeons and Dragons. Got in with a group who was running a homebrew delve into a Minflare hideout. Things were going great for the first few sessions until one encounter with a Minflare. Player 1. I wanna give the Minflare headbutts. Me. Lol what? DM. The eye lift its tentacled faces begins to writhe in pleasure. Player 2. I walk over and sniff the Minflare's crotch and then wag my tail at him. Me. Guys what the fck let's just kill it. DM. The wretched beast is becoming quite aroused. He extends his bony hands. 20 minutes of extremely graphic furry Ezul roleplay later I had to leave the group. I just wanted to play D&D. Man. Edit. For those asking. I just downloaded an app off Google Play called MRPG. I've been using it for a while now and haven't had any problems since. And yes 20 minutes is a long time however we were playing in a text based format. Thankfully, so you can imagine my shock when I check my phone after a while to find 8 full scrolls of furry smut. Once I found out a childhood friend of 25 plus years stole my credit card info after helping her and her kids get out of a bind. I was grocery shopping with her kids at the time she lifted the credit card info. She charged 8. 800 US dollars. Things like spa treatments. Hair extensions. During the couple of months I was bedside caring for my dying mother. So yeah. Not friends anymore. FCK her. Oh, I have a two for one deal here. Walking in on my now ex-boyfriend having sex with my ex-best friend in my own room on my birthday party. Edit. Since that's a lot of comments to reply to individually, I'm very sorry. Here are some FAQs answered. It was my 19th birthday. I did throw the bed out afterwards just because it reminded me of it daily. When I walked in. I was shocked. Told him that it's over. Kicked both of them out into 2C weather while they were still half naked. And then did tequila shots with my other. non soul friends. I don't know what happened to them but I really don't care. It's like they got together beforehand and brainstormed as to how they could make it as insulting as possible. When he became angry with me about something trivial, agreed to disagree instead of conceding to him, and then he proceeded to tell me he should beat the shti out of me because of it. Yeah. No. Done. Edit. Thank you for the silver. While I appreciate it. Please consider donating to a local domestic violence shelter instead. Some gals aren't in a position to leave so quickly. Children. Finances. 
and living arrangements make it so tough for other gals. Edit 2. It was almost two decades ago. Too much time has passed for me to remember, or care, what the disagreement was about. I got curious a few years ago and decided to look him up, serving 20 years on multiple felony convictions. Multiple past epos. Threatening harassing witnesses. Bullet dodged. When I was younger I found out one of my childhood friends was stealing from me in the friendship group. Every so often we would lose a phone or iPod then said friend would have conveniently got the same model but beat it up a bit with his initials and tip X or something stupid. Being a good friend we didn't want to believe it but we started putting distinct markings on our items. Lo and behold my phone goes missing and he turns up with the same one a few weeks later with the markings. We brought him up on it but he just lost his temper and stormed off. 15 years later he's in prison for armed robbery. Edit.